Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Angela. Happy Wednesday, family. Happy Wednesday or whatever day it is where you are. I hope you are having an amazing day today. I wanted to come and speak to you um, about a couple of things that God wanted me to speak about today. I will try not to make this video long. Uh, but I do want to uh, touch on some things that God wanted me to speak about. As always, I always tell you to take the word to God in prayer uh, for more comfort, confirmation and revelation on any word that I give you or anyone else. I will continue to stay, say it on this channel. Have your own <laughs> relationship with God. That is what he desires. And that is what, you know, I encourage to always have your own intimate relationship with God. That way it should be confirmation of what God has already spoke to you about, okay? I wanted to just come and, and I want to say a quick prayer so I can say it the way that God wants me to say it um, because the way that he gave it to me was a sense of urgency. So I do want to invite uh, the Holy Spirit in and just, you know, just go ahead and uh, say a quick prayer, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, our Father in heaven, God, I ask, Lord, that you lead and guide me. Help me to just speak it the way that you want me to speak it, to deliver it the way that you want me to deliver it. Let it be all of you, God, and none of me. Help me to be led by the Spirit and not by my flesh. Let the ears that will hear, to hear it and let the hearts to receive to receive it. I say this prayer in your awesome and your holy son's name. In Jesus Christ's name, I do pray. Amen. All right, guys, that is a quick prayer I wanted to do. Um, God has been speaking about and wanted me to speak to you about spending more time with him. Um, they, I did a kind of a heart video a couple of days ago, and God has still been downloading things that, um, that are approaching uh, you know, in his judgment. And I know that people don't want to hear that around this time of the year. But God is not caring right now about holidays. He's caring about souls. He's caring about the uh, his kingdom being built, you know. And it's, a, you know, <laughs> I'm just being obedient. But God is asking for you to spend more time in his presence. Uh, God is saying more than now to really have a relationship with him. Um, you know, his judgment is coming. He's coming. And right now we need to have a relationship with God like we never had before. God is asking, you know, that you seek not his hand all the time, but his heart. God wants you to, 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 to be after his heart, not his hand. He needs you and he wants you and he desires that relationship with you. And he's a great God. And again, you know, my channel is not about religion. It's about relationship. And God has been really, really drilling into me to really express to his people, you need to have a relationship with him and sit with him and have time with him more than ever now. He is desiring more time with you. He is desiring your heart. He is desiring your hand. God is desiring you right now. He needs you. He needs your undivided attention. You are going, uh, many of us are going into new seasons, new chapters. If you don't sit with him, you don't know what's your next move. You don't, uh, you're not allowing God to order your steps if you're not in his presence. You have to be in his presence to hear him. And you have to be, God is asking that you remove the distractions. Remove the distractions and plug into the source. Our source is God. Plug into the source. Sit with him. Spend time with him. God loves you. God adores you. And if you don't have a relationship with God, you know, I'm calling for you to give your lives to Christ. God is good and amazing. You know, he just wants you. He wants a relationship with you. God don't, he's not interested in religion. God hates religion. <laughs> 
you know, read the word. God hates religion. God wants a relationship. He wants to be a part of your life. He wants you to join the family. We are kings and queens of an inheritance. We have an inheritance op upon us that's waiting for us. On the other side, he wants that for you, you know, but you have to turn away from anything that is not pleasing to God. Repent and confess your sins and come into the, the kingdom, come into the, the this, this, just being the heir, come into the air. We are heirs of God, you know, and all God wants is a relationship. I always just say, God is so loving. He's so amazing. Just try him. Just try him. You don't have to. It's nothing so bad that you've done. You know, look at the people in the <laughs> in the Bible, you know, that they have done so, you know, so many things. But if you just, it's nothing that you have done that is so bad that God will not accept you. That is not, that is so far from the truth. God wants you. He desires you. And he just wanted me to talk about, you know, just having a relationship with him, spending more time in his presence. And guys, you know, like I said, these have been some hard words, but I have to be obedient. God is saying more than ever, please hear me more than ever to have a relationship with him like you never had before. Pray more, fast more, be in his presence more, worship more, praise more, you know, give more, whatever it is. Giving time, giving whatever it is that God has asked you to give. You know, but God is desiring that time with you. He is wanting you. And it, 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 it's a lot of things that are about to come to pass that I've talked about that I, you know, God is really, really has been talking to me about a lot. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's heavy, <laughs> but it, it, it is what it is. And you have to be willing to listen to God and allow him to come in because guys, it's no way that we're going to be sustained if we don't stay in the presence of God. If we don't depend on God, not on in our own abilities, but in God. And he was just speaking about spending time and also come out of, um, I'm just looking at my notes, come out of religion. Uh, he had me, <laughs> woo. He had me to talk, um, not talk, but he had me to really talk to you guys about coming out of trying to work for things, trying to work for his approval, trying to work uh, for God's uh, approval, his love. You don't have to, you don't have to work for, for that. You don't have to, he, he, you don't have to work for anything for God. You know, he puts things, the desires in our hearts to want to do what he called us to do. But you are saved by the grace of God and your faith. What's more important to God is your faith. You can't work your way into heaven. You can't work your way, your good deeds, your, your you know, he want us to give. But he is not looking for you to do it just to give or your good deeds or do, yeah, he wants you to do, you know, to do good. And once once you have a relationship with God, he places that desire on your heart anyway to want to do right, to want to serve. But you can't think that that is going to please God. You can't think that that is going to get you, you know, for God's approval, God's love. God loves you unconditionally regardless. He loves you through your mess. He loves you in spite of you. So you don't have to work towards God's love. You don't have to work for his approval. God's approval is your faith. <laughs> God wants your faith. And we've been taught and so conditioned to think God is an outside thing waiting for us to just mess up. God is in here. God is in here. And he is helping us live every day to look more like him. And as long as we believe that 
and have faith in that, we can, we will be led and we will have joy. We will have peace. We will have power, you know, and when you find, you get exhausted. Let me tell you, when you're trying to do, gain God's approval by work, that's exhausting. That's exhausting. God says you will become exhausted trying to work for his approval, trying to work for his love. You find joy, peace, power, love when you just simply believe, when you just simply have faith in God. God said that is what pleases him, your faith. And he's saying too many people, you know, in the church, not all churches, you know, and I've grown up that way where, you know, where it's, you know, I'm a Southern girl, I'm a Georgia girl. So, you know, in Baptist church and, and I'm, and again, let me say not all churches, let me put that out there, but you're conditioned to think that God is, you do one thing wrong, you're going to hell. You do, you make one wrong move. You, you know, that that's it. There's no coming back from it. And that's not true. It's not for us to take God's grace for granted and think we could just keep doing stuff over and over again. No, that's not what, what it is either. But God, his grace is available to us. And he, as long as we have faith and we walk with God and we allow the Holy Spirit to guide us and to lead us, you know, that's how you please God. You don't please God by your good works. Yeah, he wants you to do good things, of course. But that's not how you, that's not how you're going to make it on the other side. God wants to see your faith. He wants to see you trust him. You know, he wants to see you trust him. So he wanted me really to speak about that because we're so conditioned. And I say we because me, I include myself. We're so conditioned to think religious way or religion and that mentality. And God is waking his people up from that like never before. God is doing a great awakening. We're having a great awakening and revival like never before. We are, God is awakening people to see the truth, what it takes to please him, what it takes to walk with him. And we have to come out of religion. We have to come out of some ways that some t churches teach. And unfortunately, right now, <laughs> some of these churches is just, man, they are wilding out. It's, it's, oh, I have never saw the most disrespect and mockery in the church like I've seen this year. Guys, excuse that noise. Somebody out there is, I guess, warming up their car. But I've never seen the disrespect and the mockery in the church the way that I've seen it this year. And last year. But the course of this year, I've seen some things. I've seen what we've seen just all, I ain't gonna call nobody out, but we've seen all kinds of churches. And let, let, don't get me wrong, not all churches are the same. You know what I'm saying? I've grown up in the church. I love church. You know, unfortunately, God, like I've told you before in other previous videos, he pulled me out of the church in January. It was hard for me because I love to worship and praise with other believers. I love that, you know? But God pulled me away from that, whether it's a season or a reason. But God always reminded me, I am the church. Those four walls don't make me. I am the church. So come out of religion. Come out of that. Come out of that mindset. God is saying it's too much that is being taught incorrectly. And God wants you to know it's by faith. It's by faith. It's by giving up your will. It's by believing in him. It's by believing in the son of God. That are That's the things that's going to get you there. So let's not get caught up in, in that, uh, you know, in religion. And like I said, I, I get so upset and it's, it, it gets me so riled up sometimes because, you know, I'm down with God. That's, that's my love. That's my, that's my first love. And you know, when you see people making a mockery and you see people, that hurts your heart. 
you know, that hurts your heart because you know how loving and wonderful and humble God is. And to see some things that are taking place in church, it also, you know, make people who are not quite sure to believe in God or to walk with God, you know, it, it, it turned people away and it's unfortunate. It's truly unfortunate. But, you know, God wanted me to definitely talk about come out of religion and really to begin to spend time with him, guys. Get out of being distracted. Get out of thinking about everything else. And also, you know, spend time with him. You know, don't get so caught up in prophecy. Don't get so caught up in, you know, you can listen to prophecy all day long. You can listen to the pastors all day long, motivational speeches all day long. But if you don't have that relationship with God, it don't matter. People can prophesy to you all day, but God is needing you to have that relationship with him. He's needing you to hear from him yourself. He's needing you to sit with him yourself. God is asking for you. Am I saying that it's bad that you, but too much of something is not a good thing. You know, so don't get caught, so caught up in prophecy. Don't get so caught up in, you know, what the, the pastor. I'm not, and again, it's not pa all pastors. It's not all churches, but God wants you. <laughs> he wants to sit with you. He want a relationship with you. He's desiring you. So just sit with him and sit in his presence, okay? God is asking for more time. And just get out of religion. Get out of religion and allow God to work in your life the way that he wants to work. The way that he wants to give you clarity. Uh, like I said, many of us are going through new uh, chapters and new beginnings. And you got to hear him. You got to hear. You got to sit with him to hear what he has to say. So, you know, God is looking for you guys. And, uh, you know, there are things that are coming uh, that God has really, really been talking about. Uh, he's still talking about these aliens. You know, every day I feel like I hear about these aliens and all of this. And, and, and it, you can become fearful, but I know my God, you know, and I know that he's going to protect us. He's going to care for us. And what people think is weird, what people think will never happen, don't underestimate the end of times and God's prophecy will come true. So God is not a liar and uh, he's not, you know, God is not, he's not a liar. He's not a liar. So what God says will, will come to pass. So guys, I just wanted to come and he wanted me um, to read something that he brought to my attention and he wanted me to read and he kept giving me, um, he pulled me in Galatians. Uh, I'm reading from the NLT version. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I kept turned that way. Galatians 3.10. It says, But those who depend on the law to make them right with God are under his curse. For the scriptures say, Cursed is everyone who does not observe and obey all the commands that are written in God's book of the law. So it is clear that no one can be made right with God by trying to keep the law. For the scripture says, it is through faith that a righteous person has life. This way of faith is very different from the other way of the law. From, I'm sorry, this way of faith is very different from the way of law which says it is through obeying the law that a person has life. But Christ has rescued us, praise God, from the curse pronounced by the law. When he was hung on the cross, he took upon himself the cross for our wrongdoing. For it is written in the scriptures, cursed is everyone who is hung on a tree. Through Christ Jesus, God has blessed the Gentiles with, with the same blessing he promised to Abraham so that we who are believers might receive the promised 
Holy Spirit through faith. So guys, God, that, you got to come out of thinking the, about the law, thinking about keeping the law, the commands. It is about your faith. God is, he, and when you have that relationship with him, he puts on your heart. He gives you the desire to want to do the right thing. But you thinking that you got to cross every, you know, T and dot every I to get to God. That's not, that's not it. And God don't want that type of relationship with you. He wants, he wants a, an intimate relationship with you. And he just wants to, you to walk with him through life and allow him to guide your steps. Okay. So guys, that is the word today. Spend time with God. I know that we have holidays and we, you know, we, we have so much going on right now, but with things that are approaching and, and God, you know, keep speaking about his judgment and, and things that are, are, are approaching us. We have to take that serious. God is not a man that shall lie or son of a man that has to repent. So we have to take his word as his word. God is the word. So God is really, really talking about judgment. So please take it, you know, what I'm saying um, to God in prayer. Just sit with him. Sit with him in your quiet time, in your quiet place. He's not asking you to be in prayer for three and four hours and have you have your Bible up under your arm 24-7. God is so good. Just have a relationship. God talks with us. He laughs with us. You know, God is good. He's loving. He's humble. He's just. He disciplined us, but it always works out together for our good. So allow God to be God in your life. And, um, you know, guys, this is the time that we need a relationship with God like never before. Let him in. Let him in your life. Let him come in and be the Lord of your life, okay? So, guys, that is the word today. Take it to God in prayer. Pray about it. And uh, just sit with God more, okay? God is requiring more of your time. I love you guys. You know what I'm going to say. <laughs> shine. You are the light. So shine and be the light of the world that you are. And uh, just keep loving and being kind. Do not allow this world, um, you know, the agendas and the plots of this world to uh, divide us. Let's stay in unity. Let's continue to love each other. Be kind to each other. And, um, you know, keep being the light. No God loves you unconditionally. I love you. And let's keep loving on each other, y'all. <laughs> let's keep loving on each other. And uh, God willing, I will see you guys next time, okay? And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.